while I'm here, with no one under three foot by me, yeah. no fishing out cocoa pops from an nostril, <laughs> no repeating the wheels on the bus go round and round, <laughs> not pulling play doh from the dog's ass. <laughs> I'm not answering questions like, ma'am, is God and Jesus the same thing? <laughs> or my real favourite this week, what's a paedophile? Because I've just seen one on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend Jimmy Watkins is really big on messages. So the message with the serial killer is like, don't park in the fucking baby and pa parent parking if you haven't got a baby with you. You might have a blue badge, right? And I'm all for that, but I've got a maxi Cody that wasn't designed for a fucking 1970s car park in space. Like, I can't get my kids out. It's not because I want to be closer to the store. I just cannot get my kids out of the car when I need to park in a normal one. So that was the message. But I'm done with messages this week because I've had so many from each educational establishment that my children go from. We've had a strike. We've had St. David's Day. Bad real book day and the middle one shit ourselves, so I've had a lot of messages. <laughs> now we've obviously got no concept of contraception in our house, okay? I'm being a bit flip but I've got no concept of contraception, so I'm from a place called Evervale. <laughs> God's country. Um, my sexual education went something like this. My PE teacher, come English teacher, come dinner lady, <laughs> shimmied all our skirts into the hall, <laughs> whilst the boys got to watch a video on wanking, I imagine. <laughs> and basically said to us, if we have sex standing up and don't chug our cousins, we'll be fine. <laughs> Done the dishes. <laughs> Great. Let me stand up and take my knickers off. <laughs> Scott takes down his jeans. Oh, hang on. When was the last time you refreshed our family tree? About a week ago? And still unrelated. Fantastic. Let's go. And then in nine months' time, we refresh in our fucking family tree. Because we've got another baby. That's how it went. I am being fit by because we didn't think we'd have children. Um, we tried really, really hard for our first one. I spent half the year with my legs against the bedroom wall with a pair of Dornay socks rammed in my vulva. <laughs> and the other half in EPU, which is early pregnancy unit, if you don't know. I actually asked the nurse for the early pregnancy unit to the christening. She said it'd be a bit weird. I was like, he's seen my vagina as my vulva as well, so you're fine, we're all in the same space. So we didn't think we'd have it. So then we had our second one, which was a massive surprise. So Anthony Bumpo had me up for um, Murder Comedy Festival in 2019. Yeah. And I did a bit, and I told the story about the time I, um, like I didn't mean to, but I sold my vibrator on Gumtree. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did was I sold a cupboard on Gumtree, and my vibrator went with it. <laughs> And then when we went to the school's after, Scott was like, we still got our vibrator. And I was like, oh, yeah, man, we haven't. He went to Pregen, he's living his best life in Pregen. <laughs> so I don't know whether any of you have gone to a comedy festival and then gone home and gone through a box of vibrators to see which one's not there or not. It turns out it's really sexually attractive, so you end up pregnant. <laughs> And then the third one, do you know in the pandemic when everyone was doing TikToks and stuff, we bought a touring caravan, which was like random, and I took my mother in this touring caravan for a week in West Wales, so I don't know whether anybody spent a week in West Wales with their parents in a touring caravan. Yeah, well I got pregnant at the end, because I, I come home and needed a clutch. <laughs> Oh, we had a coil in with that one. We're still looking for the coil. We can't find it. I, I was sure it was on the stairs, but it never, it never came out. Anyway, so my point is messages. So if you're going to take anything away from tonight, it would probably be to use a condom. <laughs> Standing up doesn't mean you're not going to get pregnant. Not twice. <laughs> 
third dream, please don't park in the parents and baby car parking spaces. I mean, we honestly, so this is what happened, and this is why I nearly didn't come tonight. So I'm a creature of habit, I always go to Tesco's. We went up to Asda's today. Lovely. So I'm arguing with a man in the car park because I can't get my car seat out. Then there's a man who has parked in the car and parking space, and I'm like, excuse me, you forgot your child, and he goes, excuse me, fuck you. So my toddler then goes, fuck you, and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. So I come up with my panic rash, and I'm already uncomfortable because he says there's no test scores. I go to the toilet. I don't get embarrassed you see, so I've made a career out of shifting myself in my friend's car after a half marathon. I don't know where they were this morning. <laughs> So I don't get embarrassed. So we're in the toilet now. And as I, I, you know, I don't know whether you've got the memo. I never on my own. Like when I go to the toilet now and wipe my vulva, it's the first time I've wiped my vulva since 2014 on my own. So I'm in the toilet, and obviously I'm a little bit neglected. I don't know if you've been in the toilet in Asda, they're quite small. My toddler has already told me to fuck you in the car park. Then he says to me, what's that? <laughs> And growls are dead. <laughs> now, I don't know whether any of you have had a toddler growl at your vulva in the toilet, but it's really uncomfortable and really embarrassing. And this was the reason I nearly didn't come tonight. Because I just couldn't be asked. I was like, I just thought I cannot spread any more messages. But I've spread my messages tonight, and I hope you've taken it all on board. Also, it's not a vagina, it's the vulva. Thanks for having me. <laughs>